Hello everyone. Today we will be taking a look at Mailchimp and what it has to offer for you as a business person trying to get cheaper ways to scale up your business and then get across to your audience and all of that. So this is Mailchimp is one of the oldest email uh email marketing tool and it off also offers automation and all of that. And today we're going to see how you can actually utilize this to achieve different things. One of the things we are going to be able to achieve with MailChimp is the ease with which it allows you to create email campaigns, take automations, uh, you know, uh, collect email uh, from people and then be able to uh, create forms, create landing pages and website and all of that. And then today we are going to see how this can be done from this particular tool called MailChimp. So my name remains Richard N and this is Fastgoody Tutorials. And if you really, really do not have a MailChimp account yet, what you have to do is come to MailChimp.com. This is the, now this is MailChimp.com website. You have to come to MailChimp.com. I'm going to add a link in the, in the, in the description. And then you're going to come to Mail, to the MailChimp website, which is MailChimp.com. And then you're going to click on sign up. Now, when you sign up, you are going to be able to to get uh, some offers here. You want to make sure that you sign in accordingly, according to your need. You know, and the standard plan allows you to get some of maybe about 500 contacts and all of that. Then the, 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 the premium allows more. And then we also have a free plan. So I'm going to start now. I already have my account, so I don't need to do all of this. I'm going to log into my account. So this right here is my account on MailChimp and I'm going to start right away. So this is my main account on MailChimp and this is my home page. This is my home page where I'm likely to see everything that uh, is happening here on MailChimp. And in here, it allows me to see the kind of stuff I'm likely to connect with. See, it says connect your business platforms. And then, so this means that if you have your business on Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix and Squarespace, this a home space here allows you to be able to connect MailChimp to that business and then be able to okay so just at the bottom here we have quick actions which allows you to carry on a lot of things like create emails import contacts uh, create an automation within your MailChimp dashboard and then we also have the email performance section which shows you all what you could actually get from your last email campaign which guy now it gives you an overview on your click rates gives you about the open rates and then the number of orders you received and then the order rates and then we and then we, we also have the audience section which allows you to see the current contacts you have and then the last campaign you created as for me the last campaign i created was tagged new post alerts and like i said this actually is one of the most oldest uh email campaign that you you know that you're going to have out there because in time past bloggers use this to actually reach out to their audience and i think they still use it to today in fact this is one of the cheapest means of communication between you as a brand as a business and then your audience so this is just all you can actually get to see at the home section of your mailchimp and then let us go over to the to the campaign tab now the campaign tab actually allows you to see the, the I mean the, the campaigns that you've been creating. This is more like where all your campaigns have been recorded, and you can see the last one I created here is mail new post alerts, and there is one that is just a welcome to my contact and, and all of that. So this is actually where you can actually get to see them, and it, and then it, it even gives you an analytics of maybe how the opening was. If it was an maybe hundred percent open rate, maybe fifty percent, you're going to see that from the open tab. And then you also have the clicks, which allows you to see the number of clicks that your audience actually give to the email that, that they received. And then that is just about the campaigns. And then this is also where you're going to create a campaign. If you want to create one, you just have to click on create and then you start from there. And then we have the automation parts. Now one thing I want to point out is that on MailChimp uh your automations are actually tagged as journeys so when you come to the overview you're going to see all your journeys and you know you know that you've had here on mailchimp like you can see the one that, uh, that allows you to welcome your new customers you can see this one allows you to you know to to get to your tagged customers and then if your customer has a birthday this one actually allows to to celebrate them you know without even calling or whatever you just have to push them an email and all of that and then this email can actually be configured to go to your customers based on the birthday or the birth month that they have specified and then we have your recover abandoned cart which allows you to actually get to you know to actually get back to your old customers and then remind them to like 
continue with their cart and all of that. And then we have the find new contact with Facebook lead ads. Now, what this one here means is that if you're running a lead kind of advertisement with Facebook or Meta, this actually can allow you to, to actually get to do that effectively. And then we have the recover lost customers and as well as create repeat customers. And then that is just all about the journeys. We have all your journeys here, which allows you to see every automation that you had before now. And then we have the pre-build, which are more like templates that you can actually maybe click on and then modify and then begin to use. And then we have the audience tab. The audience tab actually is a part where you see everything about your, your audience. You can see your audience based on where they are and what business that they are up for. And I can see that I have this audience here. This is about six contacts and then they are on my business list and the name of the business is not on digital enterprises and all of that. And they can even see the embed form I've created and then whatever you have here. Then we can see your contact here. In this part, you can be able to see your contact list. Like you can see, this is the email contact of all the people I have on my list. And then we have our sign up form. This actually allows you to create a sign up form uh now you know that the sign up form is what you're going to embed on your website or maybe send the link out to your customers to be able to fill in and then and then they'll and then they'll be coming in here well whatever they respond with will be coming in here and they'll be shown as your contact and then we have tags which allows you to actually get to know your customers better uh, you know get to know the kind of content or maybe the kind of maybe campaign that you're going to push out to them then we also have the segmentation uh tool and then we have your service which allow you actually to get to know more about your contact like okay you know the survey is where you would get to ask your customers some kind of questions that will allow you to be able to target them properly like their interest or the dislike and all of that and then we have your subscriber preferences and then also we have your inbox okay so your inbox actually is where you can actually set up things for yourself and your business maybe probably task and all of that and then we have also we have the, uh, the analytics section the analysis section is well is one interesting section that allow that allows you to to get to see a lot of things about your last uh, campaign okay and i think this is quite interesting because it allows you to actually see how your audience how your customers how those people that you are targeting with your campaigns are responding to your campaign or to, to you know to your various campaigns so that is what this place does so on the marketing dashboard here, you can see how your campaign is performing you can see the manager performance you can see the total sense you can see the open rate you can see the click rate and you can see the people that are also actually unsubscribed then the performance over time allow you to see how you know it gives you a daily breakdown of what people are doing like okay you can see the email sent you can even see the the, the sms and you can you, you can really toggle between the day the week and then the month view then we will have the conversions at the bottom of that which is where you can you actually get to know the number of the the, the uh the number of the the, the 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 deliveries that you received and then you can actually see uh, the number of maybe or maybe like the percentage of open that you receive on your campaign and then who clicked actually the percentage of people that clicked and then how many of them actually get to order and then even your delivery as well you can actually see that how the emails is sent actually go out delivered to your customers and to your audience aside that also we also have our reports your report is just like your dashboard but the thing is that the report actually is more is more uh targeted at the particular campaign that you are looking at so i have a campaign here new post alert and this is the report for it it's it, now it's giving me that there are six opens and then six and, and, and then two clicks and all of that and then if you actually gave maybe if you actually wanted to compare between two campaigns you can actually come to the comparative side and then you can even do that for your website and all of that be able to see the reports going on for your website and then we have the custom report which allow you to actually you know configure your report the way you want it to be now we simply have we 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 also have the website tab on our on our mailchimp and this is a part that allows us to create a free website for our business yes it's not every time that you keep paying for hosting and, and all of that, especially if you're starting out. So MailChimp allows you the opportunity to, to be able to actually craft a small website for your business. And with this website, you can even do much more than you are actually going to imagine. You can actually display some products and then start targeting your customers and all of that. You can even embed your, your pop-up forms on the website and then 
this can allow you to be able to get customer feedbacks when they come in and then we have the settings tab which allow you to set up your website and all of that and then we also have the reports that allow you to see what is going on on your website how many people came in as you can see here people actually came in sometimes and all of that and then we have the content tab this content tab is where you manage your resources that you are going to use for your business like okay now we have the files the files can actually be your pictures you can see here i have some pictures that i've used in the past your pictures your logos and your then your videos as, as regards or as you use them for your marketing and then we have your email templates which is actually where you actually get to configure the emails as you are going to be suiting to your business so uh you know it's always recommended that you be unique in whatever you do so mailchimp allows you to be able to you know to adopt that uniqueness and then craft the right templates that you know that resonates with your audience and with your kind of business and that is what you can do with this template tab you can actually see the create template here and that is quite uh, easy to use so then we have the brand kit which is just a collection of everything that has to do with your brand and then we have the integration the integration actually is the most interesting part of this uh, MailChimp uh, tool because it is where you get to connect MailChimp and other platforms to be able to achieve a particular goal. So this means that if you are trying to maybe create a custom graphics in Canva and effortlessly include them in your next MailChimp campaign, you can actually bring in Canva into your MailChimp, which means that you can actually create a beautiful uh, logo that beautiful flyer whatever you want to use to reach out to your customers you can actually create it here without having to exit a uh, mailchimp and they start going to canva you can actually do it here a uh, you know just within the same uh, platform then we also have zapier which allows you to connect two or more different platforms to, to achieve one goal like you can say okay whenever somebody responds to my form send me maybe a Google Sheet or whatever, or create a Google Sheet on my Google Drive. That is what you can actually do here. So then you, we also have the Shopify. So if your shop or your business actually is hosted on Shopify, you can actually connect your Shopify with MailChimp and then be able to manage from here as well. Then we have your WordPress, we have your Squarespace, Instagram content blocks, and then your WooCommerce, and then Gravity Forms, OutFunnel, Squarespace Commerce, and all of that. So that is just what you can actually get to do with your mail uh, chain. So this is where I'm going to stop this video for now. In the next video, I'm going to share uh, with you how to create a campaign how to create a form and how to also embed the form and then we're also going to manage our website from here so don't forget this remains fast giddy tutorials and i encourage you to subscribe to the channel share our videos like the videos and then drop your question in the comments i'll see you in the next video bye bye